Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is um, Kenji from the Otaku Hub, and I came here with another Ninja review, and it has, it has been some time, I should have done another uh, Ninja review. Um, by this time now, really, I should have like three up, but, here, I got your second Ninja review. Um, I'm reviewing Ninja uh, 453, Moto Hana, she is from uh, Captain Earth, I believe it is, not Captain Planet. Um, yeah, so... I watched Captain Earth and I thought it was a really good show personally. I'm not one into mechs, so going into it, I did, it was not, I thought I wasn't going to like it. And um, I did. I ended up liking it a lot. Um, it had its problems, but at the end of the day, Captain Earth was a good show in my book. Um, yeah, and then uh, this is the first of the Captain Earth Nendroids, I believe, that came out, which is Muto Hana. And knowing Good Smile, I'm pretty sure only the girls are really going to come out from the show. But hoping for you know, all the characters, really. At least the four initial uh, main characters to come out. But let's see what Muto Han has got going on inside this box. Now, at least if I remember, she's... It wasn't that long ago that Captain Earth came out at all. But she is, I believe, spoiler alert, no, I'm just kidding. She is, um, initially the kid he meets at the start, at least from his past thing. And it, it, he, it kind of shows you there at the, at the beginning of the show, so that wasn't really big of a spoiler. But there's a lot to her. She's definitely, if, if anything, the second main character uh, for the show. And main, main love interest. From the show. No tape. No tape. No tape. No tape. Ow. And of course, uh, you get your, you know, basic Nendroid stand um, that actually has something in there. Actually, she's got a weird arm. She's got one of those weird arms. But, uh, her stand has something that... Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's to help the little squirrel thing. Her little little friend, squirrel friend from the show, to sit on her head. Sorry, I don't remember most of the names. Yeah, I think that goes in, in the sl slot from the top of her head. It slides in. You can't really see it too well, but this little thing right here. And it uh, slides in in her head, and you close up her head, and like the little... You'll clamp onto the, this guy right here clamp onto there and um, well this is all the stuff she comes with she comes with uh, three faces her initial smiling face this closed eye open mouth face and which I would think would be the basic face she is really smiling in that um, and the squirrel comes with an extra tail or oh that's him rolled up in a ball that is him rolled up in a ball when he tries to hide she comes with her uh, Red bean? No, it's not red bean paste bun. Is it thing? A food she eats that she must like a lot. She eats a lot of food in that show, and many, many arms and legs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these arms and legs. And another dress piece. I'm guessing for when she sits down. If she sits down, yeah, she lays down. She lays down, kind of on her legs, um, right there. So she's got the, this extra dress piece for that. And I'm gonna get close up so that I could show each and individual, each and every individual piece. Um, no, for this figure. Now, uh, Muto Hana comes wrapped up in plastic, um, as all androids do. She comes with this like little over-the-top one, and this one that's right here in a little side hair piece. So you gotta take this off, I guess. Ah, another side hair piece. And almost all of them have the neck one. Oop. Now as for uh, articulation, her she got the little pigtails that come off little sides of her hair. 
Um, that's the only thing for her hair that's articulated, but you know, it's different from everything else. Uh, her arms, articulation, her legs, you know, bloop bloop, she, the shebang shebang. She's got a lot of, well, these pieces get in the way, but she has initially a lot of room. Um, her, she doesn't have a waistline, side to side movement. In fact, oh, she does actually for her legs, I lied. Blah. But um, this piece right here, I, I, I thought this was like um, a boob line <laughs> movement side to side because I, I, I remember Toka has that, but no, that's just because her dress comes off, I remember now. But it is, you know, they got the crevice right there. So, it kind of bothers me a little bit, but it's fine. Um, yeah, this is her just initially. Boom, oh, boom. I believe these are the arms she uses for when she lays down, a little laid down arms to hold on to the floor. And she has also a nose back. The one I showed you before where she's eating the food. She's got various arm pieces, various amount of arm pieces. For her different arm piece poses, this very bent one, this slightly less bent one, maybe to hold her hand on the hip, this very bent one from the other side, uh, and from her arm pieces, she goes to her leg pieces. Oh, Kenji's not a man of feet. Um, she has these shoeless ones, shoeless legs, for her laying down pose, I believe so. And she has one slightly bent shoe leg. And this is her like laying down dress piece. Um, she also comes with her little squirrel friend. I keep forgetting his name. I should know his name. He doesn't he 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 like detects along with her he detects all the other weird people, alien guys. Come out of here ball I will take you out of there ball. So this is him rolled up as a ball. And I shouldn't have showed you that one first, let's just show you how he looks. The little scroll guy right here. I'm happy to add him because he was always with her. He's initially her little pet person thing. Oh, his head's rotatable, look at that. And him rolled up as a ball. I don't know what to do with this. But if you wanted him rolled up as a ball, and there you go. Or her, whatever whatever it was. I believe it was a guy, because it was a pink one. I thought that was correct. Actually, it looks like a girl. And her faces. Like I said, this kind of like slightly looking to the side one. And her like closed eye, open mouth kind of face. Yes. I like it. And we're going to go into her poses. Alright. So the first pose I decided to put her in is this sort of, uh, she's just really happy to be eating this, whatever this is, I don't remember. Um, yeah, her stand, she, gets, she has one of these weird ones where uh, people with really long and thick hair in the back get because my Toka has, her, has it and a lot of other of the androids I have have it, in fact, because I apparently end up liking all the women with very long hair. And in, on that note, unfortunately I will not be using this because it's very difficult to keep her in. So I'll be showing off her poses like this. And yeah, the, um, overall she's a very, um, at least from what I remember in the show and just here at all, she's, in, she's a very innocent character. Um, very happy-go-lucky, loves sweets, um, you know, doesn't recognize what her strengths are. And everybody else does and yeah but uh, she does have her uninnocent moments if I would say so because she don't even I'm not even gonna explain most of the show but it's love interest stuff going on there's romance so you know not everybody's completely innocent no matter where you're from so yeah you have that and um, I do like this hair these hair pieces the way they go you can give her you know, some running here, or 
what I want to do. <laughs> Make her like she's from totally a different enemy, a demon lord. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to leave her as. She's going to be the demon lord. Look at her. Doesn't that not look like horns? Demon lord. Hana. Next pose. I believe in Penser. Penser has magical powers. That cannot. All right, making some mountain poses here. But we have Demon Lord Hana here, uh, getting ready for karate. She she has her eyes closed because you know she's a pro like that, and she doesn't need to look straight up. You know, just having her eyes closed, mouth open, hands out. Bada, haya, and um, yeah. Yeah, I'm loving these, uh, <laughs> this whole damn horn hair thing. I don't know why. I know it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be down here. But, in my story, she's a demon lord. Just like every character in anime. Make him a demon lord. Why not? Why the heck not? The demons and fighting and stuff and magic. But yeah, this whole karate pose thing, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. <laughs> But um, on to the next pose. Buffering. Okay, and I got on this last pose. Uh, she's laying down on the floor. The way you can put her down with her hand down. And I got this hand up like this because reasons. And um, little squirrel guy on the head. Now this thing is a little hard to put on. And um, kind of this stays a little loose because of it's on there. But you'll be fine. It's, it's fine. And this works like that, as you can see. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy on uh, what they did with her. They gave her a lot of stuff, um, which for a non-action pose, or uh, non-action figure, uh, is really difficult to make stuff for. But if you've got things like um, your little tropes or whatever in the show, or not tropes, the things you like, the character likes, and little pet creatures like that, and all that stuff, then They'll be fine. Also, like, you know, give her things like this, which is awesome. Everybody should have hair like this. They could be a demon lord if they want to. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. Um, like if you like, of course. And, um, yeah. I'm making more videos if I can. If I can. I'm going to college, so I have time problems. And I just got Majora's Mask and the new 3DS. So that's taking up the other side of my time. So thanks for watching. This is Kenji from the Otaku Hub and Mutohana saying bye.